Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing well. If you don't know anything about me and that's the first video you're watching, my name is Marina, I'm from Brazil. And on today's video, I will talk about things that Americans don't realize how hard it is for a foreigner to understand. I will start by sharing with you something that happened to me when I was on my 20s. I was living in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, where I'm from, and I went to a club with my friends. Rio de Janeiro is a, is a very touristic city and there is a club in Rio de Janeiro, I don't know if this club is still there, but the name is Baronete in Ipanema. Sometimes, you know, you see some foreigners over there, some Americans, French, uh, British, anyway. So I was there dancing with my friends. A group of guys approached us and then they start to talk and then they're like, what's your name, blah, 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 they speak English. Our English was horrible, uh, but I had one friend that uh, she thought her English was really good, especially when she was drunk, and she was drunk. So she was like, I got this. And then she was speaking, thinking that she was speaking great English. One of the guys was talking with my friend and the other one was talking with the other friend. And then the other guy decided to talk to me and he was like, hi, how are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. I didn't understand everything that he was saying. Of course, I was in my 20s, my English was pretty bad, so I just understood the basic stuff. And I understood that he asked my name, and then I said Marina. But just to start, to, to tell you a little bit of me, uh, when I'm dancing at the club, I don't like to be bothered. I like to dance, especially if it's hip hop or something that I really like. I don't like to be interrupted. So he was interrupting me. So, okay, but I was trying to be nice. Well, so my name is Marina, nice to meet you, blah, blah, blah. And then he was talking and talking and I could barely understand what he was saying. You know, I pick up some things and then he was like, what do you do? And I remember at the time I said that I was, uh, I was studying law, I was at law school and he was like, that's cool, blah, blah, blah. And the music was very loud and I was just listening to him saying blah, 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 blah you are a badass and I was like what and he's like you're a badass I think he was from the United States because I don't think uh, British people speak like that I, I'm pretty sure he was American and he, he and he was repeating that I was badass 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 and then I was like whoa 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. what did you say then he was like you were badass I almost slapped him on the face seriously I saw my friends one was in a little corner the other one was dancing besides me I took their arms and I was like let's get out of here these guys are losers stupid no 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 I started to like cuss at them I was so upset not cuss cuss because I I don't say bad words in Portuguese I'm a nice girl but I remember I was really upset because he was saying that my ass was ugly. That's what I thought. He was like, that was really disrespectful. And then I told my friends, I said, he just said that my butt looks ugly. And then I was so pissed. I remember the poor American guy's face. I think he was American. He was like, what did just happen? He he had no idea what was going on his friends had no idea what was going on they probably thought that we were crazy but at the time i remember i was really upset i thought americans were really rude because that guy said that my ass was ugly and he didn't even know me but now that i live here in the united states i know that badass is actually something good which is so weird to me because you put bad in front of ass and that that that's something good i still don't get it but i understand that that's a compliment now I'll share with you something similar that happened to me when I moved here to the United States. I was really bored. I didn't have anything to do. I came here under a K-1 visa. I think I said that before. I went to Cabrillo College to take a few classes and then I took the test and they put me in a class that was like just Americans. I was the only foreigner. I was really nervous. And then I remember the teacher was always asking questions and I knew how to answer the questions. I was so happy because I knew how to answer. So he was like, what is the subject in this phrase? John is going to the beach. And then I was like, oh, I know that. I know that is John. And then I was happy. And then everybody's looking at me. Oh, she knows it's John. And I was like, wow, nobody knows it's John. Like, come on. And then the teacher asked us to do like group um, work. 
right? I think that's how you guys say it, group work. So we have like to take a few phrases. He was teaching about uh, the verbs and blah, blah, blah. Someone at this class, it was a lady. She said that I was a smart ass. And then I was like, oh, she's saying that I'm smart. And then I got back home. I remember that. <laughs> I told my husband, I said, Gabriel, I think I'm making new friends. And he's like, oh, that's great, baby. So tell me what happened. And then I told him that I was taking this class at Cabrillo and one girl from my class, she said that I was a smart ass. So she was making me a compliment. And he was like, what? And I was like, yeah, she said that I'm smart ass. He said that smart ass is actually not something good. I mean, I'm still confused about the smart ass concept. Uh, he said that if you don't have a lot of intimacy with the person, you don't call someone smart ass. It's kind of like it's a bad thing to say to someone. But no, I think it's always bad to say you're smart ass. I think I think it's a bad thing. And he was like, "This girl is not your friend. She's made. She's like she she doesn't like you." And I was like, really? So I, w I, w I was sad. I was really sad. And then I decided to don't take the class anymore. <laughs> I think I took three classes only. And then that was my experience with the smart ass word. And it's weird too, because in my brain, in my foreigner brain, I thought, okay, if the person is saying that my ass, my butt is smart, this person is saying that I'm intelligent. That's a compliment. But it turns out that smart ass is bad and bad ass is good. That's just really confusing to me. I don't, I don't get it. The other thing that is kind of weird is what's up. What's up with what's up? First time someone asked me what's up, I was like, the sky. Then my husband explained it to me that what's up means how are you? What's up? I was like, ah, I get it. Okay, I get it. Next time someone asks me what's up, I know what it means. It means how are you? But my lovely husband doesn't fully explain things to me. And then finally, someone says, what's up to me? And she was a friend of a friend. I didn't know her well. And then I was like, whoa, I'm good. Thank you for asking. It's been like one year, kind of, since I moved here. And then, and she was like, okay. So, um, mm, let's go. And then I get back home and then I tell my husband. I tell everything to my husband. And then I'm like, I, I feel bad for my husband, honestly, because I, I feel like sometimes my husband doesn't fully listen to me because um, I talk so much because, you know, especially in the beginning, he was the only person I had here in the United States. So I was sharing everything with him, seriously. Like if I went to CVS, I was like, oh baby, today I went to CVS and then, you know, I was looking for a shampoo and then I didn't find the shampoo. And then I was like, oh, maybe they don't sell shampoo. But then I, I walked like two aisles and then I found it. And then I went to the cashier and she was so nice, blah, blah, blah. And my husband is like, oh, okay. Like I, I know he's not fully listening to me but anyways i got back home and then i told my husband i said you know today this girl said what's up and then i told her how my day was going and she interrupted me i don't think she wanted to know how my day was going and he's like baby no when someone say what's up all you have to do is say what's up i was like okay, why you didn't tell me that before? And he's like, well, I did. And I'm like, no, you didn't. You said that what's up means like, how are you? He's like, yeah, but it does mean how are you, but you just have to say what's up. And I'm like, oh, okay. So today when someone say, what's up? I say, what's up? Americans don't realize how hard it is for a, a foreigner brain to understand. Like today, uh, I understand what is badass, what is smart ass. You know, if someone say what's up, I say what's up. But before I didn't. So sometimes you might be talking with someone from a different country and then this person gets all weird and you don't know what happened. But I can guarantee that something happened. Something definitely happened that made that person act weird. And usually it's a miscommunication. You know, it's something that really there is not 
a lot you can do about it. And I'm so glad that today I, I feel like I learned uh, probably 80% of American culture because of course there, there are lots of things that I don't know and I will have to go through the situation to learn because that's how you learn you know you go through the, the weird awkward situation and then you're going to learn about it but for those who move here with no family is a little bit difficult because you don't have someone to explain it to you what that means and to me thank goodness I have my husband and my husband he, he I mean he doesn't fully explain things but I mean, I have to say that overall, like in the end, he fully explained me everything. You know, he doesn't say like at once. I'm just starting this channel, but I want to make lots of videos sharing with you, foreigners and Americans, uh, the things that make a situation get really awkward because of miscommunication. And that's my that's one of my goals here with this channel is to help people that don't have any family here in the United States and also help Americans that maybe work with a foreigner and sometimes they're like, oh, why this person is acting weird at work? I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped someone somehow i have great projects for this american channel so every month i will have a topic that i'll be talking about or like uh making vlogs about this topic and this beginning as i said before is just going to be about me and i'll share situations that i went through with you guys so i'll have a month that would just be about beauty and I think it will be September because my my birthday is in September so I'm thinking about in September just making videos about beauty makeup and stuff like that okay Laura e você achou a sereia foi que linda my daughter she found a mermaid um tail that her grandma gave it to her thank you Maureen she loves that mermaid tail she sleeps with that sometimes um I have to finish this video because my daughter is here and she uh, now I'm going to play with her and my son and I hope you like it don't forget to subscribe to like this video to share and I see you next week beijos ciao